NATO plans $100 billion. Oh, yeah. NATO plans $100 billion Trump-proof fund for Ukraine. This is a Financial Times story. NATO has drawn up plans for se- to secure a five-year military aid package of up to $100 billion in an attempt to shield Ukraine from winds of political change that could usher in a second Trump presidency, the so-called Mission for Ukraine proposal, which will be discussed by NATO foreign ministers on Wednesday, is being put forward by the Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. According to five alliance diplomats briefed on the plan, it would coordinate an estimated $100 billion in support by 32 members of military alliance. Stoltenberg has pitched the proposal as a means to shield the mechanism against the winds of political change. Hence, Trump, according to people briefed on his remarks, if approved, it would also give alliance control of the U.S.-led Ramstein Weapons Support Group and allow it to manage the supply of lethal weapons to Ukraine for the first time since Russia full-scale invasion in 2022. Again, in the life insurance policy business, Mm -hmm. there's something called an islet, (laughs) individual uh, irrevocable life insurance trust. What irrevocable life insurance trust is, let's just say you get married and you buy a $10 million policy, $5 million policy. You can buy an irrevocable life insurance trust to on your life for your wife. That means irrevocable. You can't change the beneficiary. Okay, it sticks with her no matter. It sticks what. with her no matter what. So your wife is not going to worry about two years later. You guys get a divorce and you change the beneficiary to Beth instead of Mary. Okay, it's going to be a new person getting that. It's irrevocable. Okay, mm-hmm. even even if they both parties go, we don't. If no, they, it's oh, irrevocable. Wow. It's, b- it's deal, irrevocable. Okay. Yeah. It's irrevocable. So what, what Zelensky and, and Ukraine is doing, they're trying to get a $100 billion irrevocable uh, funding aid to them, even if Trump gets elected. What? So that means if you change your wife or your whatever you do, President. if you change your wife to somebody else, you still have to support your ex-wife. Hence, Zelensky is the ex-wife of U.S. if Trump gets elected. That's exactly what this is. Tom, anything different than what I just said? No, you're absolutely correct. It becomes like a a, a 401k or an IRA for future bribery. So it's like it it ensures that the bribes can keep going, the graft can can keep flowing, and, you know, it it saves Zelensky the trouble of, you know, ironing the green shirt to come to Congress and do speeches begging for aid. He's just, he's become, you know, Zelensky's become an annoying, like, baby mama. Like, I'm I'm sick and tired of hearing him, him complaining. Like, dude, really? You're setting it up to where it's Trump-proof? To not let you launder money. That's absolutely ridiculous. How far is it along? Are they saying that it's going to happen? I mean, and, I and hope by, not. And by, and by the way, who are they protecting? Are they protecting who they're giving the money to? Of course. They, of is course, it Zelensky or is it who Zelensky then gives the money no, to? No, Tom, how many times are we going to are we gonna find out stories where this guy got caught with $4 million, this guy got caught with $40 million. It's like It's like it's not even pretending anymore. We all know what the hell it's about. I was trying to paint the picture for people who maybe haven't heard us previously. Oh, yeah, no, you're people. right. More and more people are watching the podcast. Everybody's so maybe getting they, caught. They didn't know. It's like yeah. Zelensky takes this money and all of a sudden generals, economic guys and everything are driving a Bentley. They're trying to avoid bombs, but they're driving a Bentley. Yeah. Rob, can you go to Politico, go to Google and type this up? Type in Ukraine is at great risk of its front lines collapsing. <laughs> okay. Front lines collapsing. Okay. Go to Politico. It should be a political story. Tom, look at this here story. It's like plastic surgery failure to me. By the way, this is from what day? Can you give us the date on this, Rob? Maybe go up a little bit to see if we have a date or lower. Uh, uh, April 3rd, which is what? Two days ago, right? Or what's today's date? Yes. Today, today's the 4th. Today's the fourth. Okay, go up to the top of the story. All right, so Ukraine is at great risk of its front lines collapse. And according to high-ranking Ukrainian officers, the military picture is grim and Russian generals could find success wherever they decide to focus their upcoming offensive. I thought Ukraine was winning. Oh, I thought... And, and I thought political is a paper from the left. How dare political write an offensive article like this? Why, why would Tom? Why would political do such an irresponsible paper here? Well, you know, it, this doesn't make any sense unless somebody from the establishment Democrat Party asks them to write something in support of the foreign aid. Pa- Wait! Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, what? Elon Musk what? says Russia will certainly gain more land in Ukraine. He said that four days ago. Go a little lower, Rob. Uh, Elon Musk predicts Russia will gain more land. Musk says he believes Ukraine should focus on defending its territory instead of attacking. Musk SpaceX initially sent thousands of Starlink terminals to Ukraine, but relations have since cooled. Yeah, because 
you don't remember what they said to Zel- to Musk? Do you forget what they called Musk? Trashing him, and finally Musk is like, screw you, I'm turning it off. Go a little low, Rob. About the Neuralink? Yeah. You know, R- R- or Starlink, R- sorry. R- R- it was a tragic waste of life for Ukraine to attack a larger army that had defense in depth minefields and stronger artil- artillery when Ukraine lacks armor or air supri- uh, superiority. Any fool could have predicted that. Musk said this on Twitter, okay? Formerly known as, no, yeah, formerly known as Twitter. Go ahead, X. Um, okay, uh, let me uh, weigh in on this. I think it's the best move they can possibly make if you're NATO. Um, you know, where they, you, I love the insurance analogy. You know, I think it was Coach Bear Bryant that famously said, uh, offense wins games, but defense wins championships. You better put some defense in place because if Trump is elected, the rhetoric he has used is we're going to solve this in one day. And a lot of people were inclined to believe that that means he's just going to let Russia take Ukraine. So from an American perspective, because America first over here, uh, that's not the biggest deal to us. But if you're talking Poland and Finland and Sweden and Lithuania and Estonia and Latvia and everything going on over there, yeah, they got some worries about Russia, bro. Uh, they're very worried. And that, that the prime minister of Norway, uh, he was the former prime minister of Norway. Now he runs NATO, Jan Stoltenberg. He better do this because there's a good chance based on Trump's rhetoric that he's just going to let literally Putin do whatever the hell you want. So there should be some, some concerns. I think one of the best things that Trump should have ever done marketing wise, he said, build a wall, lock her up, drain the swamp, all these three word Three word phrases make NATO pay. Not sure how he missed that one as a brilliant marketer, but he's he's holding NATO to the fire. He's making them pay and he's holding them accountable. They have been paying more since Trump's been saying that. But if I'm those countries, I would implement this insurance policy and play defense. Tom, uh, I think NATO's trying to protect NATO. NATO wanted to expand into Ukraine. NATO wanted to expand NATO, and NATO's trying to protect NATO. You know, the question is. You know, the loss of life that's gone on on both sides here is is pretty ridiculous. And the Ukraine, you know, let's step back from it and look objectively. Ukraine was the breadbasket of Europe. This was the Midwest farmland of Europe when you take a look at Europe. And that has been lost. Prices are up. Huge loss of life. You know, we need a ceasefire and we need to get this thing back to sanity and back to the borders, you know, where they were. And we're in this intractable, long, drawn out proxy war where we keep flooding all the war hawks, keep flooding money into um, Ukraine, hoping we're going to hold back Russia. Whereas Elon Musk is right. All the propaganda and everything. Oh, Ukraine is winning. Keep giving them more. They're almost going to win. A little more. We're almost there. A little bit more. We're almost there. A couple billion more. Yep. It's it's it, tragic. But this is NATO protecting NATO. NATO's interests are expand NATO. And so, of course, they want to fund so they can keep trying. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.